What's up folks, I'm Bilal, this is Starfield, welcome back for episode 39. So we're in the middle of the Crimson Fleet infiltration quest at the moment. In the last episode we did the first mission for the Crimson Fleet. They asked us to go and kill this guy on a uh, medical transport. Uh, Severo was able to convince him to give himself into Sistef and uh, then we were called in at Sistef and uh, were debriefed for the next mission. So we are a part of the Crimson Fleet now. Uh, our next mission in this quest line is to go ahead and uh, go to the uh, headquarters of the Crimson Fleet uh, at um, the key in the Crix system. However, currently we are on Mars and uh, Severo has been uh, meeting people in the residential area of Cydonia and all that. And I thought, why don't we go ahead and explore this, uh, this solar system? Well, our solar system in this game. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Hopefully we find some interesting things. If not, I mean, this might be cut out of, uh, the episode that I finally upload. It's like we've been gone forever. But, uh, look at that, man. Oh, dude. Can I see Mount Olympus somewhere? Is that Mount Olympus down there? That could be it. It's like the biggest volcano in the solar system. So, really I hear you've been making yourself pretty useful around the ship, Cora. I have, Dad. I want to be as good a co-pilot for the captain as I am for you. Well, you're doing a great job, String Bean. I'm proud of you. What do you say we get you a new outfit next time we're planet side? It oh, still yeah. fits, Dad. And Aww. I love it. Now, a new book. <laughs> what a nerd. What a nerd. I love Cora. She's she's awesome. Um Yeah, let's scan this. What was survey data added? Nothing. Um, I think we've surveyed, surveyed this completely. Mars, we haven't, I guess. Let's go to Mars then. Travel. So I wasn't aware of the surveying mechanic. I thought by visiting a planet we surveyed uh, directly, uh, right in the beginning when we started the game and um, we were in Cydonia for those miners' quests. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain yeah, your yeah. current course while we scan your ship's cargo. And I shall scan your planet, sir. Oh, there are two traits here. That's all right. Um, let's move on to Mercury then. Set course and travel. Just uh, casually traveling around our solar system and figuring out uh, if there are interesting things. I'll leave Earth for last because I think I might even want to land somewhere on Earth. That would be fun. Who's the Valentine? Fun song, who are you? And where are you? First things first, we scan. Aluminium, helium-3, and neodymium. Okay, can I actually use the scanner like this and then scan it? Maybe. Science outpost, that's an interesting thing. Um... We can actually reach a lot of planets like this. Let's go to the science outpost. What do you guys say? Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Let's go land on the science outpost on Mercury. Bam. Explorations abound. Landing commencing. Welcome to Mercury. It's probably the dark side of, I mean, it has to be the dark side of Mercury. It's going to be super duper cold, but let's get Barrett out here and uh, get going. Is Vasco, well, Vasco's not here, but Sam or, and or Sarah hanging out? No. Okay, what's uh, extreme heat, ambient heat? Okay. Okay, let's see. The scanner, there's the science outpost. Uh, scan? No. All right, let's check this out before we get too scorched. 
I mean, our thermal uh, suit should protect us. It doesn't look like we're getting any damage yet, but... Oh, there's some... Uh, fissures. Some activity going on here. Geological activity. Ooh, there's some light over there, too. And we've got... What is that? Uh, could you show me, game, what that is? No? Neodymium? Um, actually, why not? Huh? Get the cutter out. Get some neodymium. Yeah. Anything on our way to the place? What is that? Some weird structure. Resources, one out of three. What is that? Aluminium. Take it. And we've got more aluminium. Great. This game has so much to explore. Like, um, I really, I can get lost in these things. And uh, yeah, I've decided to like go and explore more. And if it's like uninteresting, I'll just uh, make a cut in the video so that you guys don't have to go through hours and hours of roaming around and finding nothing. But then I will report about it to you guys and let you know what I saw or I didn't see. Okay. Welcome to the science outpost at Mercury. And we have people here. Let's get our flashlight out and go into first person mode. Careful where you put your feet. This soil is important for our research. It's a mass geologist. Interesting. Total NPC, don't want to steal I from you. I wasn't expecting to see anyone else out here. Oh, you do want to talk. I'm glad you stopped by. Yeah. We're setting the vapor escaping the gas vents on this planet. Mm. We have data collection sensors that need to be placed near those vents. Would you be able to help us with that? Sure. I'll put those uh, set up for you. I was hoping you'd say that. Thank you kindly. Anything for science, I say. All right, set mission is active, or hold J. I still don't understand how that works. Yeah, hold J to set it as active, and we are good to go. What is I this? Am engaged in the completion of my assigned task. All right, dude. All right, we've got a little side mission action over here. What is that? Nothing interesting. So these are the kinds of uh, habs and stuff that we could probably build at uh, an outpost that we decide to build, I guess, and we manage. Metabolic agent. I mean, I don't want to steal from these guys, really. I, mean, I didn't say steal for those, but whatever. Hey, Barrett. Sorry for leaving you stuck in the airlock. Come on. Oh, I have to come out of uh, scanner mode to interact with things. That's interesting. All right. We've got heat. Travel to the key. No, I want this to be my... This thing to be my active quest. What the hell? Vapor analysis. Yeah. All righty. Doesn't seem like there's much else over here. Let's just fly and fly and fly all the way and run and we are there these things will um, cause harm I think place device and back away that's one uh oh still got the toxic gas situation going there we go it's two and return to the mass geologist short and sweet i mean i don't know like this will put us in good standing with the uc i guess we're, help we're being helpful oh she's outside too so I'm coming for you scientist yeah don't you run away from me there we go go back hmm. i'll be honest I wondered if you might just wander off with our Come gear. on. Come on. Please. 2000? Not bad. It's not much, but I hope it's enough to make the trouble worth it. Thanks again. I mean, I got 3300 for solving like a solar system wide problem of spacers. It's getting 2000 for placing two sensors. Thank you very much. 
Um, yeah, the game has weird, like, currency things. Or, or I think for that particular quest with the list people, um, they, they are pretty poor, so I guess that that's why we didn't get a lot of money. But I'll take the 2,000, no problem. All right, nothing else here. Let's go to the other... Let's do Saturn, yeah. And it's moons. All right. Seems we're exploring. Ooh, Iapetus. I've never heard of this uh, moon of Saturn. Probably something in uh, some mythology. All these names of the moons and the planets are up to do with, like, Greek or Roman gods. All right. Now let's go to Enceladus. We've actually already looked at. Yeah, we were there last time. Rhea. Oh, my God. This moon gets destroyed in the lore of uh, Red Rising. Red Rising is the book series that I really, really like. And Severo Obarka, my character in Starfield, is named after that. If you've been watching this, you know this. I've, I say it a lot, but for anybody new. Um... Yeah, and Rhea, the moon, gets destroyed in a war uh, in that uh, in the saga of that um, book. Or in the history of that saga, actually. It's already destroyed when the book stories begin. Anyway. Um, let's go out. More moons. Tethys. Yeah, let's go. Quick uh, turnaround with the fast travel right now. A bunch of loading screens, I guess. Not that many anyway. Like, not when you're traveling planet to planet. I don't think there's too much loading happening. A lot of lead. There's a civilian outpost. Interesting. All right. Titan. That's the, that's the moon I want to go to. Titan is a promising moon, actually, for uh, under... Well, water-based life, maybe, but under a thick layer of gas. entering United Colony space. Gas. Maintain and course and prepare to be scanned. Ice. Sure. I mean, okay, so this is habit and inhabited. Done. Welcome to New Homestead. New Homestead. Hello. That's a city? What? Okay, didn't know. Okay, we're going to come visit this for sure. This place has two traits as well. Interesting. Mimus. Crazy. Well, we're gonna go on a, a on to a city on Titan. New homestead. I think I've men heard it being mentioned, but I didn't know it was in our solar system. Oh, this place has a lot of nickel. So, and there's a deserted robotics lab, um, which might have spacers inside, but. Okay, so this is the place we want to come to for palladium, palladium and nickel. Okay. Dion, set course. Actually, oh, hang on. I think I did scan it already. Come on. Yeah. Oh, we've got uh, silver here. Great. Okay, one more. No, we've done all the planet, all the moons now. Uh, yeah, it says all the moons are done here. Um, the planet itself is not. So let's go to the planet. Hello, good old Saturn. What are those black spots on Saturn? Damn, crazy. Crowning jewel of our planet, oh, of our solar system. Wow, that's awesome, dude. Love these renderings. Scan it. Actually, no, don't scan it. I want to see if I can just scan it from here. Can I scan? No? I can't. Okay, I'll have to go and scan it like this. Resources unknown. Blah, blah, blah. It's only 1.14 G. So, I mean, it's a gas giant, of course, but the gravitation is close to Earth's. That's a crazy fact. I don't know if that's true. 
Let us move on to Pluto. And Sharon, maybe? The moon of Pluto? Or is that not featured? I mean, they've shown Pluto as a planet, which is... Uh -huh. <laughs> Debatable. Yeah, there is a moon for uh, Pluto as well. That would be Sharon. Yes. And Sharon, in the lore of the Mass Effect universe, is uh, not a moon, but a mass relay that advanced technology, which enables um, traveling between stars in the Mass Effect universe. Great, okay, we've scanned it. Let's go to Sharon. Let's go. I mean, I'm glad that we're not like dealing with any fuel costs because I would say that in real life, that would be the biggest, oh, a lot of debris around here. But yeah, fuel costs would be a major problem. It's a UC Vanguard. Oh, there's one. Where's my textbook? Uh, what? Unknown ship, do you copy? Yes, I do. What's up? You actually responded. Uh, wait, where'd my notes go? Uh huh. <clears throat> Thank you for accepting my hail. This is UC Vanguard vessel AHC 1026 performing standard training exercises. All right. Civilian pilot, do you require assistance from the UC Vanguard at this time? I think I might be able to assist you. You seem pretty, like, nervous slash uh, forgetful. Mm. I've seen some hostiles in the area. We haven't, though, have we? I mean, there might be some on the other, on the other moons and or planets, but I'm good. <laughs> I mean, if you told him there were some bogeys around, he might have stuck around for when there would be actual bogeys that we'll eventually run into. Uh, ooh, a lot of copper. Good to know. Sharon has copper. Okay, that's that. Uranus. Let's do it. Bye-bye, Pluto. I mean, these distances are so freaking vast, like, reaching Uranus. I mean, we've been traveling between stars, which is like several millions of orders of magnitudes further away, but still, it, for me, it's like, it brings it into perspective, like how far away can, um, would these planets actually be? And what kind of speeds are we talking about? Okay, so nothing on Uranus itself. Um, we've done this, Miranda, traits unknown. So these three dots is it basically mean that the planet has some traits, right? I would say so. Let's check it out. We didn't go to Uranus at all. We went to Neptune, I think. Yeah, for one of those missions, but not didn't go to Uranus. Oh, oh come on, Varun. Really? Okay, they're being they're being pummeled right now. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Lock in. Boom. Got that one. Didn't get the XP though. House Damn. Maroon clear in this sector. Thanks for the help. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Yeah, pretty exciting back there. Yeah. Shot like one, one missile. The Navy, but we certainly didn't mind the support. Any way we can repay you. Um. Repair parts? Transferring yeah. fuel now. Fuel. Thanks again for the backup. Fuel? We asked for parts. I was just talking about how fuel isn't a thing. Okay, let's give our engine some more power. This this weird sound that comes through, like this flicky sound, is probably because we're we have a lot of uh, payload and uh, our engines aren't very very powerful comparatively. All right, that would be the last of these. Wow, these asteroids are nuts, dude. We didn't even get any XP for killing that Varun uh, thing. 
isotropic coolant. Ugh. Fuck it. No. Uh, yeah, it's the same button to, like, untag and to loot, which is, like, so seriously weird. Okay. No. Don't want it. Alright. Uh, scan this planet. That's what we're doing. We're on a scanning mission here. Okay. Uh, what are... There are two trades, right? Or one trade. Okay. One trade and two resources. Good. And Umbriel. Next, uh, next moon. This is... Um, this is the pace this game kind of has. Like, you just sit back, relax, do your thing. Um, you know, you run into some fights sometimes and you have to be quick on your feet, but... Carboxylic acids, argon, and water. Good. Um, if there is a way to, like, scan the whole solar system in one go, I don't think there would be. I think the spirit of the game is to explore. But if there is, I don't know of it. And if you guys know of a faster way to scan... Oh, somebody just grab jumped. Um, if you guys know a faster way to scan, leave a comment down below. And while you're at it, if you've made it this far into the video, give us a like. It helps us out. Thanks. Um, okay, what is uh, going on in Eberron? There is a feature. Sensor contact. What? Alright, there was somebody who just grab jumped in or out. Not sure. Oh, it's UC. Listen up. Oh no, it's a uh, spacer. I can't board to give us what we want. Or we're gonna blow you into vacuum. Take it anyway. You are going to freaking. We could use a vacation. If you're feeling generous, you could help us out. Or we could just dust your ship. Oh, they just docked, didn't they? If Fuck that's you how guys. You Oh, we're gonna do that? I thought you were gonna board my ship. Alright, this is one person, so I'm gonna take down your shields. Or, or your engines first, maybe? Go get behind them, thrusters. Come on, yeah. Engines can go a little bit down, ballistics can go up. Okay, let's do this. Lock on and get their engines. Oh, they're shooting at their engines. engines. Oh, they're done. Ah, oh, shit. I wanted to kind of capture it, but whatever. All right, that serves you right for messing with us, man. No, not sensor contact. That's a separate thing. Yeah, that's something else. I'm looking for the loot here, man. Yeah, there it is. Space your hand. Yeah. All right, put some power back into the engines. Let's do this. And here we are, silver. Cargo old full. Great. Um, all right. Okay, I'm going to do a quick save here. And uh, how do I get up? Yeah, there we go. I want to see if I can actually magically connect to the storage Dad, container I have on the outpost Solomon from here. Do you think would have liked me? Sure. Hmm. Everybody can likes you, don't they? Transfer? No, I can't. So, our mass is already over. So, what do we got? Got 10 ship parts. That's going to be like 100 on its own. This arc welder was given to us by um, the UC veteran. So, no. Monopropellant, ugh, these things are like... Okay, let's get the rarity out of the way. Clothes, it's a common item. It says uncommon manufactured component, but it's a common item. I've transferred it to my inventory, I think, which I don't need to do. Container is at max capacity, sure. Okay, um... That's order by mass. All of the items, there you go. Monopropellant, we can jettison this. And uh, this we can also do over here, I think. Jettison? Does it say jettison? It says frontier or store. Oh, frontier would mean, ugh, I'm sorry. Like, I'm all confused in these 
menus, put it back here, then we can jettison it from there. Um, jettison is C. Right? Um, soil box. Where do these things come from? Where, why is all this junk? Like, that's a... That's a significant amount of, uh, like, shit that we did not order. I think our, our friends bring this out, uh, along. Like, I don't know. Anything above one, I will get rid of. Anything that is more than one piece, I will get rid of. Fuck it, I won't miss these. Alright, paper airplane. This is probably Korra. Right slipper, left slipper. Oh my god. Do you All right. think he would have liked you? Well, if you Solomon listen Co? to your grandpa, Solomon Co. would have given me a good whooping. <laughs> hmm. But I think he would have liked the man I grew into. That's good dialogue between those two. Uh, I'm glad I brought them onto the ship. Okay, no need for getting the spacer hyena. We are here to scan. We've got nickel on here too, so... Okay. This is not unknown. We have two more moons to go, right? This one and this one. Ariel or Ariel. <clears throat> Ariel, what do you got for me? Nothing. Just water and copper. Titania. So those, um, that hyena that we just had killed, two things about that. Firstly, uh, I thought they had docked because they had a constant distance to us, which is really close, like 80 meters or something. Um, Mrs. Whitmore, Hello. what? This is Mrs. Whitmore's sixth grade class. Problem and need help. Please respond. Sure. Oh, thank you. The school district is supposed to do maintenance on the ships, but our grav drives cracked and leaking helium three. The ship can't jump right now. You have nice um, engines. What's helium three? Oh God. Helium three is a stable isotope of helium that is used as fuel for grav drives, Tashi. What's a grav drive? Oh, there's you more than one kid. You know what a grav drive is. Oh, you should. You wrote a paper on it. <laughs> I'm not sure Billy does know what a grab drive is. Class, please talk quietly amongst yourselves. This is important. Do you have any extra ship parts? Of course. How many do you need? And that's exactly what this option says. How could the school district put you all in danger? The whole fleet is made of charitable donations. Mm -hmm. So the ships are always breaking down. And okay. the district's mechanics are few and overworked. How, how many sports do you mean? Mrs. Whitmore, who are you talking to? Several or Barca. Pirate? <laughs> pirates? There are pirates? What? No. No pirates. Everyone is safe. Ah, we have the Crimson Fleet. Uh... Ooh, this will make some of the students very excited and some of them would freak out. I don't I don't think I want to. I want to tell them I'm, I'm a member of the Constellation because that would probably be more inspiring Holy for the kids. Smokes. Constellation. Yeah. The explorers? That is so cool. In space you can encounter all sorts of fascinating people. Now, everyone, settle down. The driver said ship parts should be sufficient for us to repair our ship. Ten is a lot. Uh, ten ship parts and then uh, I think we only have ten at this point. Shit. What do we do? Do I want to be, do I want to help these guys? Sure, I want to help these guys. Can't you just, oh, sh sorry about that. If you heard that, I, I just struck the, uh, the mic. But if they, can't they just get like five ship parts and be happy? Or partially repair shit and then go to like Titan or whatever and get the rest of their shit sorted? Fuck it. Thank you so much. 
Stay safe out there. Class, we'll be leaving shortly. Everyone buckle in. All right, and they just fucked off. Great, uh, and our activity said that we have we can talk to Barrett about this, apparently. Titania, fuck yeah. All right, that's all of the moons of Uranus as well as the planet itself. We've got Neptune is done, Pluto is done. Um, we've got Venus and Earth to go. And Jupiter, of course. Jupiter is neither the planet nor um, nor the moons have been scanned so far. So let's do that. This is hey, interesting. Justin, if you're ever thinking to yourself, oh, I could really listen to Barrett's dulcet voice. Oh shit, that got bugged out for some reason. Oh nice, we can even see Jupiter's ring. So Jupiter does does actually have rings, but they're very faint. So not very. Uh, mainstream that fact Callisto Io Ganymede and Europa yeah the four major planets which are actually in orbital resonance so for every one time one of these planets goes around Jupiter the inner one goes faster like exactly twice or the outer one goes exactly half a rotation which is pretty crazy they're all like tidally locked random facts with Bilal here we've got helium-3 and we've got Iron, and we've got an industrial outpost. Interesting. Um, let's travel to Io. Wow, okay. So we're out of ship parts at this point. Um, might want to go straight to Neon. There's a couple of people there who sell ship parts. Hello, Io. Okay, nothing much. It does have these three dots on it, so I wonder what those mean. Like, does that mean that it has these outposts or something? Or does that mean traits? What, is, what does it all mean, man? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Io. Ganymede, yeah, of course. Ganymede, what do you got? You've got a trait. You have a trait. Ooh, look at Neptune there. Cray, cray. And Triton, it would be Neptune's moon. Crazy. I love it. Love it. Love these renderings. And we've got Europa with this symbol on it. And this symbol, I need to see like the help file or something um, to figure out. Uh, what these uh, symbols mean because we have this weird symbol on top of Europa. Does that mean that there's a functioning active outpost there? If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Like, Europa. I said Ganymede there, but that's where we were at. Okay, Europa is full of water as is to be expected. Survey six eighty six percent. What? Interesting. Why eighty six percent? Yeah, this symbol right here. I don't know what this means. So, all right. So that's all of those. Now we've got Venus, right here. Oh, sorry. That's Earth. This would be Venus. Quick jump from uh, Jupiter to Venus. We're getting tons of XP and we've got bogeys. Bogeys abound over there. Probably Varun bastards. Deserted biotics lab. Inferno temperature. That's a nice uh, qualitative way to express that. No magnetosphere, that's true. No flora, no fauna, no water. But there is water. What? Are these like random resources uh, assigned and irrespective of whether there is water on the planet or not? That's kind of like a weird contradiction right here. Um, Venus is 74% done because I probably haven't... 
I don't understand quite how that happens. But I think we should get the fuck out of here because we are we don't even have ship parts. So all that's left is good old Earth. And it's moon. No, we've done the whole thing. We're at 87% in the survey. Let's go. Good old Earth. Let's see what survived. Scan. Okay, we've got water, we've got chlorosilanes, mercury, mercury, that's a sort of resource I haven't seen in a bit. Uh, what about the moon? We have already scanned it, great, go back to Earth. We can see the, uh, uh, the continents, it's just all frozen over, it's crazy. Okay, how about I land right around here somewhere, which is Germany, modern day. Sandy desert, what? Temperature is cold, thin carbon dioxide temperature, no magneto, oh, Earth has lost its magnetosphere. It's a sandy desert here, what about the Sahara? It's all a sandy desert? Crazy. Canada, Amazon, anything, nothing. Sandy deserts everywhere. I think this part is gonna be procedurally generated, but hey, might as well take a look at Earth while we're here, right? Landing side looks clean. Let's set it down. Nice. Welcome to Germany. Wow. Exit ship. Hey, Captain. Can I talk with you for a bit? Yeah, you wanted to talk. Ooh, we're level 20. Yay. I think I saw that in the last loading screen as well. But all that. Uh, ooh, there's a cave here. We've got one resource. Chlorine. How about we set up a um, an outpost right here. Um, outpost. There's one. So we set up a beacon. That's like going to be the center of our outpost. And then we set up, yeah, we can um, extractors, generators, whatever, right? Earth outpost one. This is what it's called. Let's put in an extractor for chlorine right around here. We have aluminum, we have nickel, we have copper. Let's do it. It will need power though, I think. All right, so this is the top down view of our little uh, base. Okay, so no water vapor here, no chlorosilanes here, but there is chlorine, which is shown in this white area. Great. Um, we will need power. Probably a wind turbine since this is a desert. Uh, built. Okay, needed power is five. We have three. So I'll put up a solar array right next to it. There we go. So we have enough power now. And what else can we do? We can actually use a powered switch right next to, I mean, I can place it anywhere, but I'll just place it right here because this allows us to independently switch this uh, on and off. Uh -huh. if I we see wired. where you're going with this. Yeah, Barrett gets it, right? Um, we go to Dusty. it and- Dusty, let's talk. Okay, sure. God. Um, oh, menu, output link, no wire. And I will attach the wire to the powered switch. And then I will go to my, I guess my wind. Actually, it needs both, right? So, hmm. all right, wire 
to this switch. There we go and go here. Come on, give me the menu. <coughs> yeah. Oh, activate menu. Wire to this guy. So we've got one line running. No mess. Uh, we've got good cable management skills here on display and we're, we have an outpost making chlorine. Now what we need is to, we'll go to the beacon, build, um, go to the top down view and uh, go to the build mode. Yeah, there we go. Storage, we would need, ooh, we are out of adaptive frames so we can't build any of these things and we're out of lubricant, damn it. Ah, this fucking game. Okay, I would, I would have wanted to put a transfer container right here, and that transfer container so, should help us uh, offload things from um, our very heavy frontier at this point as well. But what we need are adaptive frames, so got to get those or make those. We can actually make those by um, using builders. Yeah, simple fabricator. Um, just put it right around here. Hold on. For an adaptive frame, but we need zero wire for that. Great, so this is how we roll in this game, I think. But what I do have here is chlorine being generated right about here, and I shall take it. Because this thing has limited capacity. It's got six capacity i think and uh it will keep making chlorine whereas uh we don't have anywhere to store it that yellow thing i think is the extent of our uh of our uh base what is that that's more chlorine isn't it lots of swimming pools i guess because and would chlorine be stored as a liquid uh, dissolved in something or would it be a gas in its natural form? I wonder. But for now, let's head on over. Oh wow. I wonder what the gravity is on this planet. <laughs> I don't think after all of this loss of atmosphere or anything gravity would have changed because I don't think the size of the earth has changed at all or the mass of it has significantly shifted. So we're looking at 1.0 OG. Um... We can fast travel back to, I mean, we can use the map to do it anyway, right? Frontier? Yeah, fast travel is there. So we just have to go one way. What do you want to talk about, Barrett? Hey, so I'm really enjoying our time together. Thought you should know. It's been a long time since I worked with someone so closely. I didn't realize how much I missed it. And you haven't stopped me from looking into this stuff with Irvin either. So... Thank you. Of course. I'm not flirting with you. Uh, why would I stop you? Well, there's a school of thought that you shouldn't go chasing ghosts. And they're probably right. Ghosts are spooky. But maybe this isn't that kind of chase. And Irvin's case is far from dead. Um... If it matters to you, it matters to me. I mean, that's not flirtatious because it does not have these brackets saying it's flirting. So, yeah, See, I care about it. See, that's what makes you. you a good captain in my book. You're supportive. Yeah. On that note, I do have some news about Irvin's mm, case. Hmm, do you know? So, I wanted to let you know that I heard back from my contact, and I think you'll want to hear this. They sent me a copy of some public records. It's interesting. There was a claim filed against Irvin, accusing him of damaging their investments. Okay. Looks like Irvin didn't even enter a plea. Hmm. What was the settlement? Some of Irvin's paychecks were seized, as well as any assets that weren't under joint ownership. Who bought the, brought the case to court? The Hephaestus Mining Corporation. And they also won the case. Okay. No plea makes him feel seem guilty. Yeah, that's true. He wasn't even on the planet for the duration of the trial. Oh. I think they scared him off. Anyway, this mining corporation, Hephaestus, sued Irvin 
claiming he irreparably damaged their mine. They said he killed the apex predators in the area around the mine, which led to herd creatures overeating the grasses. That caused the soils to release too many gases too fast, which cost Hephaestus a ton of money. Oh, okay. Well, uh, this is a chain uh, thing, and killing apex predators has that uh, kind of an effect. That seems hard to prove, though, because you'd have to have a rock-solid case in such a judicial environment. Uh, it looks like they considered him a no-show and ruled against him. So anyway, according to the court documents, there was a witness for the defense. Who was a no-show, too? Then Hephaestus won by default. Were you the witness? They tried to take his apartment, but because it's in my name too, they couldn't. Hmm, a pre apartment. Why didn't the witness they show up? They withdrew their testimony the morning of the trial. Said they had a sincere change of heart. Hmm, probably bought off. Is your contact still av available yes. for work? They plan to stay in the same system for a while. Hmm. Did you know about the apartment before I this? I didn't know he bought it. Must have been a better deal than renting for the time he was there. Mm hmm Hey, free apartment. Kinda. <laughs> I had a mountain of back taxes to pay, and utilities, and repairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would have been far better for my pockets had I just donated it to the city. But I'm glad I didn't. There may be clues there about his case. Right. So here's what I was thinking. I can persuade my contact to keep digging a little bit more. I don't want to press our luck, so I'll just ask them to follow up on one thing. Mm -hmm. Should I tell them to investigate the company more or look into the witness instead? Pay your smuggler contact to investigate both. Investigate the company, investigate the witness. What do you want to find out more? What can be? Oh, what do you? What do we find out? Yeah. I Chuck. just want to know why they picked Irvin. Why did they set him up? Yeah. And the witness. I wonder what his real reason was for retracting his testimony. Did he report anything to security? I care about Barrett. I will pay this money, especially because uh, we are not really cash strapped at the moment. For that so. much money, <laughs> they'll do it. Yep. You know, this investigation is time consuming, but it's also pretty cathartic. I'm uh, glad. Who knows? Maybe if we solve this case, it'll mean a better future for Gagarin. Mm -hmm. But that's thinking too far ahead. Anyway, Captain, thanks for checking in with me. Of course, Barrett. So we might have a mission to go to the apartment now under activities. Let's check that out. Um, no, activities. No, okay, interesting. All right, let's continue on towards this uh, fucking cave. All right. Looks like here we are. What do you have here? Water. Oh, it's like a little pond here, huh? Hmm, interesting. Here's the cave. Let's get our uh, gun out. Don't, don't know what to expect. Maybe the dinosaurs are back or something. Get our flashlight out. Whoa, was that? Ooh, I thought this was a person. Crazy. Okay, what is this? What? Just glass or... What is this? Interesting. Is this like a resource we can't mine just yet? Or... Or is this just like ambient lighting inside of the cave? Give me some silver. Hand me some of that silver and uranium. Sure. And uh, let's go into the main body of the cave. Rock pile. Oh. Straight up lootage. Huh? Okay, that's it. Nothing here. Okay. 
Just some lootage. Alright, let's take a look. Um, travel to my ship. Let's go. And we can just fuck on out of our solar system. So this was fun. This was uh, interesting visiting all these things. So this symbol is probably for a base. And this symbol is probably for... I mean, this is for our own base and this is for another base. Okay, we're gonna... Before we head out, what about fucking new homestead? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go to a new city. Actual actual new city the only city really in this is the system. Security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband sure sure scan complete welcome to Titan you're clear to land a new homestead great and I'm gonna shoot first <laughs> land let's do it Hello, Titan. Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, we're still wearing our suit, right? I'm pretty sure this place isn't going to allow us to uh, breathe regular old air. Look at those big, like, energy generators, wind energy. Welcome to New Homestead. Please make your way to the building at the end of the path and down into the colony below. Okay. Stay safe and enjoy your visit. Thank you. Um, interesting. So we're at the A-pad, um, which is the landing site. We have the customary hey, trade kiosk. Hello. Um, what? I did get an achievement. Jacked in. Access 50 computers. Great. So, um, no, let's look at the shit we have in terms of quantity. What do we have a lot of, you know? 37 argon. What I do need is lubricant. Yes. So I'll have to probably like Google it and so at this point I can't be fucked to like keep even track of what we need. I might start making actual notes um, about where to get what. But hello, welcome to New Homestead. Luthor's been bothering anybody. Okay, Luthor is going to be another side quest. Let's get inside. No loading screen. Surprising. Alright. Do I have to check in over here? Careful. There are some dangerous areas around here that are not part of any tours. Oh, okay. This is Boring assignment, but let's keep it that way. Sure, sure. You don't want any drama. Okay, we've don't got... Don't stay outside for too long here on Titan. Uh -huh. You will freeze solid without the proper protection. Okay, good to know. We take vandalism seriously here. You don't mess with history. Do you know what? Am I like... Yeah, I'm wearing my casual clothing, right? Just because these guys are such like loud mouths, I'll just go around in the UC sec uniform. Um... Which we should do for our main mission too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, not the main mission, but the uh, main. Uh... Those folks in Sidonia may be closer to Earth, but we do a better job preserving its traditions. Sure, sure. You're more Earth-like. Sure. Um, yeah, we for our uh, undercover operation. I think this is the suit we want to wear. Okay, we have to go downstairs. There we go. Very lightweight up here on Titan. Huh. Loading screen? Why? These colonies are not smaller than I thought it would be. Yeah. I'm learning so much here. Everyone should visit at least once in their life. Hello, chunks, so chunks, cool chunks. Here. 
Very informative. Star I didn't know about the methane harvesters before coming. The people here live a simple life. Don't try not to complicate. Okay. Enjoy your visit here. Thank you. What's going on here? Like, is there a point to this place? I wonder. Sure would be nice to get off world sometime. Mm -hmm. We outside? No. Okay. I'm looking at like okay, let's talk to him. Bill Starsap. Why hello there! I'm Bill Starsap of Starsap Tours. Let me tell you, this place is full of history and interesting facts. For instance, did you know that New Homestead was one of the first colonies established outside of Earth? It's been populated in some capacity for over 200 years. I was hoping you could tell me some more about this exchange uh, program. Everyone knows well, that. First, you should know. Everyone knows that. <laughs> I knew you were a fellow history buff. Well, I'll tell you what. You come along on one of my little tours, and I guarantee you'll learn something you didn't know before. So what do you say? I've got an opening. I could take you on a tour right now if you'd like. Mercy. But fun. It is. And yeah, Star Sap is a weird name. Towards helping the family and our community. Um, now, if you want, we can schedule a stay. What do you recommend? Definitely check out the Brown Horse Tavern. Good food, mm -hmm. great atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Avoid spending too much time outdoors. It's freezing out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any more than that, well, I'd be giving away the tour for free. <laughs> I get you. What about your name? <laughs> None taken. I get it all the time. If you think it sounds made up, well, that's because it is. Sure, yeah. I come from an eccentric family. Back in the early days of space travel, generations ago, my ancestors were really into science fiction. They wanted a name that seemed like it fit into the stories they grew up with, so they changed their last name, and the Star Sap family name was born. Great. Used to be Bramblefoot before that. <laughs> Their ancestors liked a different type of fiction. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take me Excellent. on tour. Excellent! You won't regret it. My tours are one of a kind. <laughs> Dude, I now, there's you're just, just the not just allowed. The going rate for a genuine Star Sap tour is only 100 credits. Sure. Let's do it. Great! Let's get this show on the road, eh? Oh, can't right. believe so, people actually live like this. This is New like Homestead's this. main concourse. This or underground area didn't exist when the, the original outpost, the really really base, was finished in 2130. Follow me. We'll come back here by the end of the tour and talk about the museum collection. But first, let's go see where people live. Now remember, these people aren't actors. They actually live here. So one thing try to, to be respectful of that. Home. While the original inhabitants of the Titan wow, Astro NPC base chatter. lived in pods like you saw up above, they transitioned down here when this section of the base was finished in 2144. Okay. I can't Space is extremely here. limited, these so you'll notice sure some overflow here. But more residences also exist on lower levels, which are inaccessible to tours. Visit historical new homestead and take a comprehensive, genuine stra star sap tour. Okay, okay, okay. I'll stop at each of our destinations Boy, if you want to look around. Or here. if you have any questions for me. Sure. I wish I had, like, we taken the persuade option life. just because we would have uh, been closer to unlocking our um, it's next level for persuasion. What does that look like? Yeah, I think we have a lot of... Uh, these points uh skill points i think we might even have like three at this point let me see yeah we've got three skill points ready to be uh used oh there's a clinic down here hello who are you what can i do for you oh yeah juliana it said talk to juliana i'm just Great. gonna fuck off with another the tour oh. let me guess you slipped on the ice and need a doctor to wrap your sprained ankle 
You're very enthusiastic. Yeah, it's a bad attitude. Maybe. I'm sorry if it sounded harsh. I'm just frustrated. And you're However, honest. I think if you walked a mile in my shoes, you'd probably feel the same. Anyway, what can I do for you? I could use some medical supplies, dangerous hazards. Is it difficult being hmm. a doctor here? Even though we don't have shiny new medical facilities, I imagine it's easier than wherever you're from. Ooh. We have fewer people here. And we're very responsible when it comes to our personal health and welfare. Mm -hmm. So there's not much I can't handle. For anything else, we can get access to off-world specialists. Contrary to popular belief, we're not primitive. Okay, if you say so. You're weirdly defensive. You don't like tourists? I don't. They make a mockery of new homestead culture. And on top of it, they're reckless. Mm -hmm. It's like I said before. I feel like I'm treating them more often than our own people. Is there anything I Actually, can do? maybe there is. I have an idea that may be best suited for someone relatively unknown instead of myself. Mm -hmm. I've got a mountain of work and a reputation to maintain. Mm -hmm. So I bought a realistic monster costume. The plan was to wear it, scare tourists away, and start a rumor about terrible creatures living on Titan. I figure that once word gets around, tourism will take enough of a dive to give me some relief. Oh. Um, I don't care if it works. I'll That's do it. That's the spirit. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure it'll work either, but I feel like there's no harm in trying. Mm -hmm. Here's the costume. I think this will work best on the surface. So just find a group and run up to them acting like a convincing alien monster. Mm -hmm. With any luck, they'll run screaming and book the next flight out of here. Great. Awesome. What does this monster costume look like? This is fun. Holy moly. Wow. The monster costume. Wow. This is going to be definitely what I want to do next. <laughs> All right. I'll put the Constellation spacesuit on for now. Um, or not, because... Yeah, we don't really are wearing any spacesuit at the moment. We're using UC Sec. And um it's way more awesome wherever you come from than it is here. Yeah, so um I'm looking at the time and I think I will have to call it an episode here. We'll continue on with our tour of New Homestead in the next episode. This episode was all about exploration, going around the solar system. We didn't even go to another system in this episode, just stayed in our solar system. Which is probably a first as well. But uh, we'll continue on with the new homestead activities. I'm looking forward to share, scaring these um, these tourists away a little bit too. Anyway, if you like this episode, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want me to go to a particular uh, region of this uh, universe of Starfield. And leave a comment down below. Alright, other than that, I'll catch you in the next episode. See ya!